the altitude um, causes the, the um, Haldane-Bohr effect. Everyone knows about that in physiology, that uh, it explains what happens when you breathe and when the uh, oxygenated hemoglobin reaches your uh, tissues down in the capillaries. Mm -hmm. The Haldane-Bohr effect explains the, the fact that oxygen, when it uh, sticks to hemoglobin, uh, changes the hemoglobin molecule, causing the uh, carbon dioxide to come loose. And when you have a high concentration of, of carbon dioxide down in your capillaries, the carbon dioxide sticking to the hemoglobin causes the oxygen to come loose and become available to the tissues. <clears throat> and uh, strangely, uh, there has been almost no research, uh, just a, maybe a, a couple of dozen papers, applying that Haldane effect to other proteins. But uh, uh, in the case of hemoglobin, the molecule just happens to... Uh, be in the right position to transport uh, uh, oxygen and, and CO2 in the blood, but uh, the few people who have tested other proteins find that uh, that's a general effect. The haldane bohr effect applies to proteins in general. Mm. Uh, when there's a lot of carbon dioxide, it basically changes the uh, pH or the uh, isoelectric point of the protein. Um, making it less accessible to oxygen. And that in itself uh, is a protection against the attack of oxygen against proteins. Okay. But more than that, uh, the, the particular group that carbon dioxide sticks to on a protein, such as hemoglobin, is an amino group. Right. And any amino group in your body, whether it's on your DNA or uh, your enzymes or the so-called uh, hormone receptors, uh, these all contain amino groups, mm -hmm. which uh, when there's enough carbon dioxide, it will stick to those groups. And in the absence of carbon dioxide, uh, other stuff will stick to those, such as uh, glycation, right. uh, various free radical yeah. fragments of, of uh, unsaturated fats, will tend to stick to those okay. and uh, derange the hormones. Insulin, for example, is um, a different hormone in the presence of CO2 or in the absence of CO2. So mm. everything in your body is different when it's well saturated with CO2. Uh, mm. you, you can't suffer the side effects of, of uh, diabetes, for example, if, if your proteins are well protected.